You are sure you want to start right now? Continue. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, partners and friends. Uh, a very, very uh, warm welcome to everyone uh, to this session today. Good morning, good afternoon. We see that you are from all over the world. My name is Simon Raj and I'm the marketing manager of Robotina Group. We hope that you are doing fine regarding of the corona situation uh, that in one way or another affects all of us. First, I would like to thank you again for attending our webinar <coughs> about S-Gate. This session is mainly to introduce you to 4S S-Gate solution that is part of the larger portfolio of uh, 4S solutions. And 4S stands for Smart, Safe, Secure, Art, secure and energy and space efficient. But of course, without uh, leaving uh, the customer experience out of the picture. So if I summarize our today's sessions, it's about the dig digitalization of buildings, facilities and spaces as such. Uh, before I leave the stage to Marian Sternat, uh, product manager of smart spaces of Robotina, I would like I'd like to, to take a few words uh, regarding Robotina, mainly for all of you who newly discovered Robotina. So Robotina is a high-tech company uh, that has a legacy of 30 years uh, in building advanced solutions in three main areas. Basically, uh, industry automatization and custom industry solutions, energy management and energy efficient solutions, building automatization and building management solutions. So to spare us time, we will also add in the Q&A uh, link of our digital magazine um, where you can find additional information about our projects, solutions and research and development we did in the last few years. For additional questions uh, on these sessions, we kindly invite you uh, to send uh, us uh, questions through Q&A uh, button uh, here in Teams Live or through LinkedIn a chat box or via direct messaging uh, through LinkedIn. Thank you for now and I'm leaving the word to Marian. Hello, thank you Simon for uh, the introduction. Uh, well, um, uh, also welcome uh, from my side as a, a manager, product manager for uh, Smart Spaces. Uh, today we are going to talk uh, briefly, uh, shortly about the about uh, Robotina. Um, what uh, just quickly uh, uh, history. Then we are talking about uh, general about S gate and 4S solutions and we'll focus a bit more on three typical use cases. Um, so, uh, Robotina was established in 1990. Uh, since then, we are manufacturing uh, hardware and software solutions for uh, building automation and uh, the um, areas what uh, Simon already explained. Uh, in uh, 2019, uh, uh, we um, launched our third generation of uh, Cybro controller. So quite a nice uh, history and experience in the building automation systems. Marian, if I can may jump in, yeah. uh, can you share the, the slide where is uh, the, the chronologically uh, shown your, your the, the chronology of the development of uh, Cybro and uh, the path of Robotina? This one. This yeah, one. please Is it, share it. Isn't but it this one? No, it's not. Uh, it's not shown in the. You have to share it. Um, I think I'm. Uh, 
Okay, now you're fine. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Uh, yeah, so uh, since 1990 uh, until uh, uh, date, we've uh, worked on the hardware and software uh, solutions development and of course uh, selling all over the world. So we've developed uh, quite some um, uh, uh, solutions for um, lighting automation in the buildings, uh, building management systems, energy efficiency, energy optimization, uh, and uh, uh, other mm, uh, solutions. In the uh, COVID-19, we, we um, further um, extended our solution for smart spaces to um, uh, fight to, to um, solve the, the problems that came in with the uh, virus um, in, in, in the buildings. So we added uh, solutions for, for um, uh, people uh, uh, at the entrances, so uh, temperature measuring, um, hence disinfection and uh, when people are walking in the in the buildings we added the analytics and solution for for uh, tracking the, the uh, people in case of uh, coronavirus infected visitors. So uh, what is actually uh, for as a, a solution? If we have a look at the uh, at the uh, typical um, building, we have uh, different entrances. So on each entrance there will be as gate, smart uh, uh, safe gate, and in the passages between two spaces there will also be um, an S gate. So all S gates will be connected to the cloud. Uh, in the cloud, there is a 4S solution with a, a virtual key distribution. Each gate will get a digital twin and this will be accessed by users and by management. Uh, how will digital uh, virtual keys be distributed depends on the application. So we have API which connects to the any third party uh, information system. What we will see later, there are different uh, uh, areas, different uh, partners who will actually deliver a virtual key to our uh, uh, cloud 4S and 4S will take care of uh, providing the right key to the right uh, uh, door, to the right door lock. Um, let's have a look at uh, um, some uh, use cases. Some of them will be uh, then um, will go deeper and some of them will be just mentioned here just for you to know what is the uh, um, uh, area of applications. So for instance, an invited visitor to the commercial building would get will get an invitation. So you as a host will send uh, your your guest an invitation and on this invitation you can also attach um, the QR code, a, dig a digital key. So this visitor will get a key and enter without uh, having to register or without having to, to do any activity on the at the reception, so automatic reception will will, will happen through the um, S gate. Of course, now in Corona times, uh, they will also be asked for uh, uh, temperature screening and for uh, hands disinfection. Similar uh, uh, goes with the um, hospitals or any healthcare institutions, where you will get uh, an, a visitor will get an appointment. With an appointment, they will also get a key and enter without any interaction with the uh, reception, with the uh, people who will scan the temperature at the entrance uh, and have other uh, process. 
Uh, in case of, let's say, industrial application, employees, employees, uh, human resources will give them a key and they will again enter. Uh, for one time maintenance uh, uh, teams or person who will come can again get the, the key and enter directly without uh, uh, having to go to the reception. Um, very interesting uh, area of uh, application is uh, uh, for retail, for hypermarkets, what we will uh, go deeper later. So a loyalty club member will again get an, an app code, a digital key and enter uh, without having to wait in a queue. Airlines passenger may get uh, a ticket and on a ticket uh, a voucher or a, a QR code and enter uh, to whatever is third party service to the uh, with the airline passenger with the airline uh, uh, connected with the airline. A buyers attracted by an ad on internet or in the newspaper will again scan a code, uh, send us or a provider this code and get a digital key to enter and be serviced as uh, per their needs or similar to a cinema ticket holder can get a ticket, can scan a code and enter um, to, the, to the cinema or, or gallery or, or theater or whatever. So how does uh, actually the system work? Uh, here on the right, you can see the typical S-gate uh, um, uh, solution, uh, uh, S-gate item. So, um, uh, it will detect who is entering, when they are coming in to the door, how many times it can be restricted by uh, the number of, of entrances, under what conditions, what are the priorities. Um, we can manage the personnel, uh, we can pre-book uh, entrances and we can uh, restrict uh, some spaces for before entering. So everything this will be communicated with the controller, which is inside the S-gate unit. We can also, of course, we can uh, also count the visitors. We can check whether a visitor has done a complete process, uh, complete procedure or not, and inform accordingly. Uh, Marian, so, if, I, if I may jump yeah. in, we just mm -hmm. got a question from John, for, uh, John from Florida. Uh, I believe she cannot speak. Oh. Uh, she cannot sleep. <laughs> so uh, she's asking regarding sport sport facilities. Uh, can be S gate uh, used and applicable for sports facilities? And what about ticketing and counting people? Uh, if you can, sure. uh, if you can say a few words about this, would be would be great. Uh, sure. Uh, um, this is one of the uh, one of the uh, one of very good uh, uh, implementation applications. Um, so uh, uh, any sports facilities facilities will again have to uh, have to have the the uh, uh, S gate solution. And uh, do you see my screen now, Simon? Yes. 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 Yeah. yeah okay. So um, uh, here you can see that uh, um, uh, the, the, the parts, let's go first to the parts of the of the S gate um, uh, item. So here we have a, a temperature screening. Here we have a digital key reader. Here, here we have um, hands disinfection unit. Uh, on the edge or above, uh, the, the unit there can be people counting and detecting detection of passage uh, of the visitors. So we can have uh, um, uh, multiple uh, entrance people counting unit or we can have single entrance uh, people counting and, peop and detection of entrance. So uh, the answer, the partial answer to the question of course, yes, we can count uh, uh, people in uh, at least two, two ways. Um, besides this, we have additional uh, uh, features, additional uh, uh, modules which can be added to the 
to the complete system, like a, a wireless button, um, to open the door if anything is uh, happening at the entrance and we and the receptionist or the person who is in charge would like to open the door in spite of uh, maybe not uh, uh, pr um, protocol not being uh, completely uh, fulfilled. Or, uh, of course, I, I forgot to mention that we already have uh, uh, inside in the controller, we have the door opening uh, functionality. So when the complete uh, um, procedure uh, protocol is, is finished, the door will open if there is an automatic door. Uh, we can also uh, um, uh, open the door wirelessly. If um, it's impossible to pull the cable, we can, we can uh, implement this module and have uh, the door opened uh, wirelessly. Here is the unit for informing the, the uh, receptionist or the person in charge if anything goes wrong at the entrance. Here is motion sensor which will uh, detect person who has come to the door and would like to enter. Signal light is additional information uh, besides uh, signaling on the uh, unit itself uh, will be uh, um, signaling that uh, uh, the door is to be open. And if, you, we, if we don't have wired Ethernet connection, we have 4G dongle. So the answer to your question, yes, of course, uh, sports complex is very welcome uh, uh, application um, uh, since uh, it's uh, it can really give uh, the everything what is uh, uh, what is needed. Um, maybe I go back here. So if we have several entrances to the sports complex, uh, all these entrances will be connected to the cloud and uh, uh, people will be counted and detected on all entrances regardless uh, 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 entering or exiting. Uh, we will always know the number of people inside this area and the number of people inside this area or any other area in the in the complex. This is uh, a great benefit uh, and no wiring uh, between the gates is required because everything is connected via internet to our cloud and analytics will happen in these digital twins uh, uh, given the number of, of people. Even the occupancy can be kept under control because we know how many people have uh, entered and uh, once we reach the number of, of uh, uh, people uh, visitors, we can uh, we can uh, limit and we can stop uh, uh, entering. Just just uh, a, a, a remark, additional question from Dren uh, is that uh, uh, as as she mentioned before, né, regarding ticketing system, uh, if can be uh, S gate connected to the uh, another IT system for ticketing, and if uh, S gate can uh, can manage uh, um, the people, uh, it's longer. Uh, basically, that the person who is entering in inside the sport uh, complex uh, through a door can exit through a door. So with the code can manage, uh, you know, uh, the the way he enters or exits. This is mainly so. Yeah, Maybe. of course, of course, uh, no limitations of entering through door A and exiting through door B or same door A. Uh, um, everything is uh, connected in the cloud. So the cloud so manages uh, and connects with several other entrances, several okay. entrances. Yeah, and yeah. also can manage different systems, connect with different systems like ticketing systems uh, and other systems. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, of course, uh, uh, two apps will will uh, connect in uh, in the cloud. So um, maybe I wasn't clear enough. Uh, uh, let's go back again. So here you can see uh, uh, our cloud. So for S cloud will be responsible for managing the doors, the gates, for managing the entrances, the, the uh, people who, who entered, counting the people 
and knowing uh, uh, what key is actually uh, uh, active and what keys are inside. We, we, we don't actually know who is the person who entered because third party information system, for instance, uh, we'll see in the in the uh, hospital application, uh, the, the system for uh, giving appointments will will know who is the person, the name, surname and other data. We don't know this, but we know the virtual key which will be delivered from their system to us. So similar is to ticketing. Uh, if a third party system uh, works on the on the tickets on, on, on this, they will just uh, exchange the information through API with our cloud, with our system, and our system will then manage the, the doors and manage the number of people entered uh, and give uh, 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 VIP access or whatever. As you will see at the at the uh, um, application for retail hypermarket, how we we manage uh, VIP and ordinary entrances. Okay, Simon. Yes, perfect. Yeah, fine. Okay, so let's go further to the um, user interfaces which are part of the S-Gate system. So we have actually three, um, three uh, applications. One is visitor interface, then we have configurator and receptionist interface. The names already say the, the users. So this one is for users. Configurator is for configuring the system. I'll also tell a bit more about it later. And receptionist will have the right, uh, the, the option to, to monitor, control uh, the, the gate if there is a reception in the building. Uh, let's go deeper to the visitor interface. Of course, here will be a simple guidance of the visitor when the person comes to the S gate. So uh, first, welcome, um, temperature will be scanned, uh, they will be asked for uh, hands disinfection. They will be asked to uh, uh, um, implement to show the digital key. And it, if everything is OK and the number of, of visitors has not reached the limit yet, they can enter. If anything is wrong, for instance, persons com person comes with a wrong uh, uh, key or has high temperature, or hasn't disinfected their hands, they will be rejected to enter. Or of course, if the number of the particular category uh, of the visitors was already reached. Why two numbers here? Uh, because this is, uh, um, let's say, normal uh, um, visitor, and this is a special VIP visitors count. So if you come with a VIP or, or um, fast gate uh, uh, key, you can enter even if the number of the, or of the normal um, rights uh, users will be reached, you can still enter. Um, then we have configurator. Uh, so configurator is meant to uh, the system integrator who will uh, set up the S-gate. So we have four um, uh, screens up to now. One is uh, basic entry conditions. I won't go deeper now in this, uh, uh, in this webinar, but you can have, uh, uh, we will share the link where you can see the details of all these uh, screens. So here entry conditions will be set. Uh, for instance, in some cases, hands disinfection is not requested. Temperature uh, scanning is not requested uh, or a digital key is not required or receptionist is not uh, in place. So you can set all these uh, uh, parameters here. What are the conditions to enter? Uh, uh, of course, the number of the of the visitors uh, in both uh, categories, uh, normal and VIP, uh, all the uh, delays, uh, um, time limits, and so on. Then we have user interface settings. Here you can set all the, the texts, the messages, which you saw uh, in the uh, previous screen. 
So all these uh, um, messages will be uh, will be uh, uh, set up here in any uh, world language. It's free to to uh, parameter to configure. Here you can uh, set up the the uh, cards which are uh, to access the the venue. And here is the log events overview. So every activity on the S gate will be uh, will be logged and you can uh, um, have this log available from our cloud. You can download from our cloud or the user can download uh, and see what was going on, how many people entered, who entered, who had the right temperature, who hasn't disinfected hands and so on. Not who, to be exact, which code, which digital key did certain activities. So um, uh, this is you, what you can get from the from the log. Uh, and the third user interface is receptionist. It's uh, quite simple. Receptionist, if if uh, uh, he or she is there, will see what's going on. If temperature is not okay, this will come red. If the key was wrong, uh, this uh, reader will come uh, red. And if it's it wasn't disinfected, uh, this again will come red. If uh, uh, entrance was done, if somebody entered uh, before uh, executing complete process, again, a uh, receptionist will be notified and uh, receptionist has also the right to open the, the door even if uh, uh, someone hasn't done complete process uh, or, or can uh, restrict the entrance uh, and so on. So uh, this is uh, the, the tool for uh, receptionist for the security at the gate in, in uh, those cases where we have uh, this person available you, there. Just yeah, I please. jump in with a question from Theodore from Israel. What kind of skills are required to implement uh, as gate? Mm. Great question. Um, thank you, Theodore. Mm, uh, yeah, uh, no special skills. Mm, a good electrician will be able to to set up the system. Now, what is actually required for the basic system is uh, only uh, power and uh, and uh, Ethernet connection. In if we implement 4G communication, then even Ethernet uh, is not required. The rest is in the configurator. So uh, those four screens in the configurator, for now it is uh, uh, four, uh, uh, in those you can set up everything. You can uh, uh, give the right uh, uh, cards who have the right to enter. You can give uh, the, the process, the um, what uh, must be executed. So normal, Electrician or not, uh, um, only even not electrician, it's only power can be available uh, uh, in every uh, at every door. So uh, the person who can use this uh, uh, configurator, um, you will the the details about using configurator are available on our web page. And we will uh, also make ordinary uh, webinars uh, directly uh, for explaining the details of the configurator. So no special skills to implement the solution. Thank you. Uh, so let's go now to the three typical use cases we selected for today. So it is healthcare institutions, industry or commercial buildings or any buildings with uh, uh, many employees and retail. So what are the problems, present problems in the uh, healthcare industry? Uh, as you already know, uh, there is a manual body temperature screening or it's a thermal camera, even if this, if it is uh, uh, thermal camera a person must uh, sit there, watch uh, this screen. If the person with higher temperature comes, they must react. Or in some cases, there is an option to sending SMS or, or a message to the person in charge in case of high temperature. But 
uh, uh, no uh, identification, so manual identification by staff. Uh, people are entering on random, so no real schedules uh, and uh, undefined journey inside the institution. So actually a very poor um, equipment to fight the coronavirus or to have control over the uh, visitors in the hospital or any healthcare institution. So what is now 4S uh, healthcare institution solution? Here we have system for patient appointments. So what I already explained, a patient will make a call or fill the form in third party uh, um, application. So a nurse will confirm the date, time, when the, when the appointment, uh, when, when the person uh, will come and a system will send a digital key to the patient and uh, S-gate will and, and an, uh, a digital key also to the S-gate, to our cloud for S. S-gate will code a digital lock at the doors to open the uh, the visitor who comes with the right key at the right time. So when a patient comes to the, uh, uh, the time of the appointment with the right digital key uh, and executes the procedure, she or he will enter. So we already said what is the procedure, so the right key, the uh, uh, normal temperature and uh, hands disinfected. So in case of any change, for instance, if the person is delayed, a longer queue or a cancellation of the, of, the, uh, of the appointment, the system can automatically inform the uh, visitor, the, the patient, and will also give the information to the, uh, to the S gate to cancel the particular digital key or shift to the maybe next day or a few hours later or whatever is required. So very comfortable system that works um, without uh, any uh, uh, without any um, requirement of the uh, uh, people. What we see uh, now, for instance, in uh, in Slovenia, this is uh, the healthcare institution in our capital. So here you can see one lady will check the documents, the other will, will uh, um, welcome the visitor and you don't see on this picture also um, the security who will uh, uh, test for the uh, temperature and who will actually check the person who, why she or he is coming to the institution. So instead of three people here who are exposed to the infection, only S-Gate will do the job. Uh, 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 besides this, um, uh, it will, it will, uh, there, there will be no um, pressing buttons, touchless uh, experience. So we only come with the uh, 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 QR code on the on the digital uh, with the digital key on our phone, scan and enter. Uh, so it's a scheduled entry, it's a, a visitors and staff counting uh, functionality, uh, touchless I already mentioned, and what is uh, in addition, uh, if, if uh, uh, for instance, when the person will come to the doctor, uh, uh, she, she will <coughs> register again. So we know exactly, the system will know exactly when the person entered the gate and when she or he came to the particular location in the in the hospital. If we set up more points uh, in the in the building, we can even track uh, people uh, on their journey uh, uh, even closer. So from this, we can uh, uh, create a complete um, tracking system for each digital key, how they were moving, okay? So um, uh, this analytics is still under uh, development in, in, our, uh, in our factory, but uh, it's uh, close to the release. 
Uh, so complete analytical interactions and estimation using artificial intelligence. So once the hospital management has the data of the people entering, and if there is uh, uh, someone who was who was later maybe detected as uh, uh, infected uh, by virus, they can uh, first uh, track back who and where uh, this person was was uh, uh, walking and of course uh, warn the, the the people who were in contact with with this patient and they can even uh, um, maybe improve the walking routes within the uh, the uh, institution to prevent the spread of uh, virus uh, further spread of virus um, so uh, this is one very good feature in 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 the in the system so uh, uh, what are benefits for the institution much lower staff load i already mentioned less six leaves uh, uh, better control of uh, possible infection and uh, through our log 100 percent documented safety uh, uh, showing what happened, when it happened, uh, uh, which key entered, and uh, uh, so they can avoid infection. Um, if we go uh, deeper uh, for the industry or commercial buildings, the focus there is a bit different. So uh, uh, again, manual, uh, uh, they have at the moment, they have mainly manual body temperature or thermal camera. I already mentioned the, the problems with this. No identification. Um, people are entering randomly and no records, no reports. So uh, um, with, uh, with our solution, uh, you will have uh, a system for employees. So human resources will create a digital key to all and, and deliver to all employees. Uh, this system will get will give digital keys to the S gates and configure S gate. Uh, human resources will distribute digital keys uh, to employees via email, and uh, um, S gate will will open when they come. So an employee comes with a digital key, executes the procedure, and enters. What is important is that the uh, company knows exactly. So system for the management, uh, they will be able to compare uh, S-gate lock with attendance lock because usually uh, they have uh, um, attendance uh, um, uh, points. So they can compare and know exactly who entered, when they entered, and if they had the right temperature, uh, the normal temperature, or the temperature was higher. Uh, um, Anyone missing, so if, if a person uh, um, uh, registered at the attendance but hasn't uh, registered at the S gate, so she or he uh, didn't uh, check their temperature, they might be potentially infected. Uh, uh, so they will be tracked and uh, uh, once, if, if later, uh, the text person will be detected with uh, this. They can again be tracked for possible social contacts and again 100% documented, as we already mentioned, in the healthcare institutions. Um, I already mentioned the system for invited visitors. So if you have an appointment with a, with a visitor, they can uh, you can share the digital key and they can uh, enter with uh, filling the complete process and uh, uh, come to, to your office. Um, for the hypermarkets, um, again, if an unattended uh, uh, gate, um, we, we uh, put the S gate at the entrance, uh, we give the display, we give people counting at the entrance and at the exit. So uh, complete uh, procedure will be checked uh, here. Per, uh, uh, people will be counted. And again, we can limit the 
number of people and we can uh, we can uh, count them uh, uh, very accurate. Uh, if we are talking inside the the, uh, the building, the, the market or mall, uh, we can also have similar systems, smaller systems for the uh, each and every retail shop um, to guide them. Maybe we, we can have a, a complete monitor or we can have just simple signal light to uh, let them in or to restrict the entrance and so on. But this, of course, uh, has had to check temperature and, uh, and disinfect their hands at the entrance to the mall. Here is only uh, counting and restricting the uh, maximum number of, uh, of visitors inside the, the shop. If we um, focus here, uh, what's happening now, at least in Slovenia, and I know it happened, it was happening in uh, in Dubai in uh, uh, springtime. So people were waiting in a queue to enter the hypermarket because of the restrictions uh, for the occupancy. Uh, if they wanted uh, to, to, so no, no differences between loyal and uh, normal uh, uh, customers. Uh, uh, here with our system, we can support loyalty uh, uh, system. So um, if you are, for instance, a care for a member or Mercator here in Slovenia, you can, uh, 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 the system can give you a digital key and you enter on a fast track instead of waiting, instead of having to wait in a queue as I showed you before. And here at the entrance you will again do the complete uh, uh, procedure, uh, maybe uh, disinfect hands, again te scan temperature, with uh, this monitor you will be guided and uh, uh, with the sensor uh, people will be counted and uh, um, uh, they will know exactly uh, how many people are in the, how many visitors are there in the, in the uh, mall, in this particular retail. So, uh, to, to wrap it up, um, with S-Gate or for, and 4S solutions, we have immediate effects, so safe spaces, controlled access, we can uh, uh, control uh, the occupancy, so um, density, uh, social distance. Um, we give, we inform the, the management, we are logging and reporting. Follow up is uh, giving business analytics, more data usage, uh, we reduce the personnel, uh, we engage much more the, the uh, customers, uh, imagine uh, uh, how uh, big increase can uh, uh, make in the subscri sub subscribers uh, to the retail uh, loyalty system if they have this option to enter on the fast track instead of waiting for in the queue. And sustainable, since we know the number of people in the uh, particular uh, area, we can uh, moni we can control better the uh, cooling or heating systems. We can so we we, we reach better energy efficiency, uh, productivity is improved, uh, and uh, through the loyalty systems, revenue growth is uh, uh, very uh, very good, and uh, collaboration in the use of artificial intelligence is available. So this is uh, in quick uh, what uh, we planned for today's uh, webinar. Uh, I hope it was clear. Maybe Simon has some more questions. Yes, uh, yes, and I will quickly jump into the questions. Just a minute. Okay. Uh, so uh, I mean, maybe maybe we 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 forgot to um, to give you the video presentation. Maybe it's time now, Simon, to roll the, the video about. Okay, the, and then we go with the questions. With uh, the questions, yeah, perfect. Okay, just a minute.
Smart, secure, safe spaces are essential for success and living and working quality. COVID-19 has shown the importance of this in all its brutality. Social distancing, limiting the things we touch, and managing occupancy is extremely critical to prevent the spread of COVID-19 and to protect our lives and business. Safety begins at the entrance. However, current solutions at checkpoints are expensive, outdated, and don't offer the needed functionality. That's why Escape, a digital doorkeeper, was born to provide a touchless, safe, and comfortable entry experience while ensuring safer and secure environment. Our unique solution detects fever as well as automate and digitize the way staff and visitors access commercial facilities, shopping centers, offices, hospitals, and more, allowing full remote control, monitoring, and analytics. Even better, it comes with a suite of powerful features that allow you to dynamically assign access rights, give access only to users with the right credentials, limit the number of people in your facility, allow access in your facility via mobile phone, pre-registration, reservations, control occupancy, manage queues and dwell time. Remember, safety and security is controlled at the entrance, and IoT technology and artificial intelligence help keeping your safe spaces under control. When dealing with uncertainty during times like these, wouldn't it be reassuring to know that you and your consumers are safe? Let us help you keep your space smart, safe, and secure. Visit www.4s-spaces.com or www.robotina.com today for more information. Robotina for smart, safe, secure spaces. Immediate solution and long-term value equals digital transformation of spaces and business. Okay, now we can jump to, 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 to questions. And I have a question from Isaac from Germany. And he is asking for additional services for hypermarkets, commercial buildings, hotels beyond COVID situation. Okay, mm -hmm. I can take this question. And uh, uh, let's, let's um, see as 4S uh, solution and S-Gate as an enabler of digitalization of the spaces or buildings. In terms of hypermarkets, <clears throat> uh, our system collects the data of uh, how many people entered, how many uh, was exits the building, and how are currently present. So this occup occupancy management system but all these data uh, uh, are collected and the let's say a, a retail facility or a hypermarket through this data can make additional services or or manage uh, manage some services for example if you you have to have uh, um, an employee that goes to check toilets or you have we can make you uh, count how many people go into to the toilet and then send the message to to the staff after, I don't know, 20 people uh, left the toilet, that the toilet is ready, let's say, to clean it. An additional service is for retail if uh, that the retail knows how many people on each day are uh, visiting uh, their store. And also if this uh, huge, uh, bigger hypermarket, you know where the people are more frequently, frequently to, 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 to enter, where to place advertising, how to manage additional services uh, and many stuff that can be, uh, let's say, customized regarding the, the process uh, of the building or, or, let's say, management of the building, the process of the building or business process of the building of facility. This is uh, <clears throat> how I see it and what, what uh, different services we also provide. So, yeah, another so question. Maybe, maybe. Maybe just a, a few words uh, in addition to this question. Uh, um, uh, thank you for, for this. Maybe I haven't uh, explained uh, in deeper that we also have uh, complete GRMS systems in the, uh, for the hotels. So guest room management system is uh, one of the, um, our uh, product lines. Uh, uh, and in addition to this, so we have uh, uh, access control at the entrance, we have a uh, guest room management system, we have heart of house management, so the management of uh, um, uh, entering to spa, 
to to um, to, to uh, gym, to a pool, uh, or any any uh, facilities that are um, for for guests. And we have also back of house management. So these are IT room, uh, cooling uh, uh, sector, uh, heating um, boilers, and so on. So. Uh, once we uh, integrate all these solutions in the complete uh, uh, integrated system, uh, we can implement the uh, workflow management uh, uh, system. So uh, from the guest room uh, management, uh, we know exactly when uh, the uh, cleaner will, will, have to, will have the key to enter the room how long she or he uh, used to, to clean. If there is uh, additional service needed, for instance, uh, uh, very dirty or something uh, uh, broken in the, in the room after guest uh, has left, uh, has checked out or has left the room, uh, she can also call the um, specialist for, for that. And again, uh, the system will deliver the key. So complete workflow, man and, and uh, they will know if, for instance, if, if it is third party uh, uh, maintenance uh, uh, person or maintenance team, the hotel management will exactly know when uh, this specialist entered, how long uh, he needed to, to fix the, the uh, problem and when he left. So. Uh, same for the employees, same for the third party uh, services uh, provided. Uh, so this maybe this is the answer, the additional answer to the to the Simon's explanation about the workflow management in the hotels, in the retail uh, toilets, uh, Simon already mentioned. Uh, so uh, complete uh, control and monitoring of the process in the building. Simon, please. Uh, yes, another question from Rob from UK. What is the long lasting value of S-Gate after Corona crisis ends? Scenarios and applications. Mainly this question we get all the time, uh, but we, we would like maybe would be very good if Marian you um, explain that uh, the, the feature regarding temperature and and uh, 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 co regarding Corona is uh, added feature and that it's not. I will, yeah, I, I, I'll just quickly answer uh, uh, here and uh, today um, because I think uh, this would uh, require a complete uh, webinar uh, uh, for the for the complete access control uh, uh, guest room management system uh, and building management system integration. So uh, uh, yes, um, as I as I already told you at the beginning of this uh, webinar, we um, developed we were developing the systems uh, since uh, 1990. In last 15 years, very intensively in the buildings. Before we were more uh, we were more implemented in in the indus industrial applications. But last 15 20 years, we are very deeply involved in the uh, buildings. So um, uh, the S gate is just the, the uh, top of the and uh, application extended to COVID-19 uh, uh, challenges uh, with uh, uh, focus on uh, temperature screening and uh, hand disinfection uh, features. The digital keys, invitations, uh, Given the the uh, people uh, additional services in the retail in the hypermarket are the long term uh, uh, features long term functionalities which can be implemented anytime. Uh, people guidance, people tracking, people counting uh, were already before. For instance, we we have a very nice project of. Uh, uh, complete people counting and uh, tracking in the Lure Museum in Abu Dhabi, in some uh, um, malls, uh, hypermarkets and so on. So uh, these are technologies that were here before, only the analytics uh, and part of the artificial intelligence 
um, uh, came in uh, lately in, in, in this year with coronavirus. But the, the basics, hardware and the, the idea was before and will be also after coronavirus uh, uh, vaccine will be implemented or, or it will be overcome in, in, in some way. Okay, and then, mm, yeah, okay, we have two similar questions, Raul from Brazil and Rahim from Turkey. Do you have a partner for distribution in Turkey or Brazil? Uh, for this kind of, let's say, commercial questions, we are open and we will also send the contact of Marian in the Q&A so you can directly contact him. Uh, and I believe this is... Very welcome. We, we, we are partnering, but uh, welcome uh, any any uh, ideas, any any uh, cooperation proposals. Uh, and another question for, uh, again from UK. What are your first hand experiences uh, from uh, healthcare staff? Uh, yeah. Wow, very happy with the with the solution. Uh, um, they are really exposed uh, to the uh, in this Corona times. Uh, uh, they are very they are the first on the on the battle line. Uh, and um, what's going on now in in for at least in here in in, in Europe, um, the nurses that should work on on uh, other nurse jobs are now forced to do the job at the at the entrances, having uh, checking the, the appointment lists, uh, checking temperature and so on. Um, uh, smaller units where they don't have a receptionist, um, don't have any control on the uh, people or the patients who enter, how they enter, they must reject them, ask them to come at the time. You know, some people uh, would come to, the, to see the doctor if they have an appointment at 11, they will come at uh, 10, 15 and try to enter as it was before. And they would wait in the waiting room. Now they are rejected. And uh, this is not a nice job to keep rejecting them, at least now in, in, in Europe where we have uh, zero or uh, close to zero, below zero temperatures outside. And uh, it's not very comfortable to. Uh, so with, with the system, we uh, patients will get much more um, uh, clear when they can enter, when they will be welcome, but also when they may not enter and they will not be uh, uh, allowed to enter. So now all this burden is on the uh, healthcare institution, on the on the staff, which is uh, much overloaded. I, I spoke to, to several uh, uh, people in the healthcare industry and they're really exhausted. So a big benefit for the, uh, in, in, in this area. I will jump ju uh, in with just with uh, one remark. Uh, lately, uh, we, we, uh, we make a quick research in, in healthcare and in uh, uh, home care facilities and uh, they see a benefit and let's say a long lasting value of s gate even with this function of uh, temperature screening because um, they would like to to uh, let's say make make a system that automates uh, the entrance and the access and also money for example if you have uh, 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 hospitals and if you have the let's say onco oncology hospitals where people are, are hospitalized be because of cancer and then they are treated and they are immune suppressed there these facilities see the long lasting value of uh, temperature screening and making these protocols uh, protocols uh, in entering those facilities as a norm and also in uh, care homes also because they would like to automate the, the let's say the the control of the temperature of visitors but also to to automate and with digital keys the the visitors so let's say family who visit the, their own uh, elder people and here we see that these features will go on and have the the long lasting value mm -hmm. so this this is 
I'll take this from my side. Uh, Marian, do you have any questions more? No, I think uh, we were clear. I uh, I see that that uh, um, the very good interest is in the in all complete uh, uh, Robotina product line. So um, I will uh, I will uh, discuss here uh, if we continue. Maybe we we go to the uh, with the webinar for the hotels uh, special for complete solutions for hotels for. Uh, um, sports complexes uh, focus on on people counting. Even parking guidance might be might be interesting part. So uh, for those who will uh, who want to become our our distributors or who want to cooperate, we can we can have a, a next meeting or webinar to to tell them about the complete solutions of uh, product lines of Robotina. OK, so uh, thank you again for attending our the webinar. We welcome you to continue our conversation with Marian beyond today's sessions. So we will leave in QA box Marian and mine uh, contact information. Thank you again and have a nice day. Thank you. Thank you all. Bye bye. Bye. bye.